Canada is known for its natural beauty, for its rugged, snow-capped Rocky Mountains, the frozen tundra with its wild weather, and the stretches of vast, tangled forest and seemingly unending prairies. But did you know it's also home to some incredible rolling sand dunes? I didn't know, at least not until last autumn. But as soon as I found out, I was on the road. I was headed to the Great Sand Hills, located in the middle of nowhere Saskatchewan, hours from the nearest major city. I'm in the middle of Alberta, which means it was gonna be a seven hour drive. But when I saw a post claiming there were sand dunes within driving distance, I knew I had to check it out. As a photographer and filmmaker, I'm always on the search for beauty, and the idea of shooting sand dunes was irresistible. Plus, I was intrigued by this place, which was so close to home, sounded so cool, yet that I'd never even known existed. I just found a pretty cool little lake here, so I'm gonna go fly the drone around it. The drive alone was worth it. Salty lakes, rocky badlands, wildlife, and more endless prairies. And eventually I made it to the sandy road that led into the park. Without a sign, you'd have no idea what was there. Okay, I made it. There's a sand dune. And when I arrived at the sand dunes, I'm happy to say they didn't disappoint. I took advantage of the beautiful evening light and attempted to capture some landscape photography. But despite my setting, I struggled to create the photos I'd been envisioning in my mind, and it was a bit disheartening. Oh, okay. So the sun has set, and oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Um, but to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit discouraged. I'm in, I don't know if any of you struggle with this, but when I'm in like such a stunning, stunning location and there's perfect light and I don't get the shot I want, it is, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard. It makes me feel like I'm not very good at what I do. I think some of the drone stuff probably turned out, so that's cool. But yeah, I might have to try again tomorrow and do a bit better job scouting first and get here really early. Um, so that I can be prepared. So that's what's happening. It's pretty gorgeous though. The next morning brought stillness, solitude, and a sense of peace.
I was so grateful I'd come to this place. That I'd chosen to get out of my house and explore this unknown location. That I found this hidden gem in such an unexpected place. And that, despite everything not being perfect, I found the beauty, silence, and peace that I was searching for. And it got me curious. What other new locations are out there waiting to be explored? Places that are near me that I've never even heard of. During this time when travel is restricted, it seems like an opportunity to seek out the beauty that's close to home. So as soon as the sun was fully up and people started rolling in, I knew it was time to move on, to seek more beauty and to find unsung locations. It was time for another adventure.